Hello, this is R-I-C-K-Y, the Android guy. Hey guys, today we're doing an overview comparison between the Galaxy Tab A with S Pen and the iPad Air 2, or the iPad Air. Really, the iPad Air should be the one more compared to this tablet simply for the fact that it really fits more in line with it. So, for the iPad Air 1 and 2, they're basically the same thing for the most part, but with the iPad Air, it's $399 price point, so it's $100 less closer to this tablet's price point. Now, for $399 on an iPad, you're going to get a really great quality for all of the latest apps. Any app that you want to play with, you will be able to play on here very well and very seamlessly. Uh, the resolution is amazing for watching videos, although since they are both the same aspect ratio on both tablets, you're going to get those black bars and you're not going to really have the most enjoyable experience as you could. However, with that, it's just all around going to give you a good experience for fun and entertainment. What the Galaxy Tab A gives you is two great features. Uh, the biggest one uh, being that this tablet comes with full Microsoft Office built in. Now I know what you're thinking, well, you can get Microsoft Office for an iPad. So what's the difference? Well, for an iPad, you're going to have to pay either $69 to have it on this one device, you're gonna to have to pay $10 a month, or $99 a year just to have it on multiple devices. On the Galaxy Tab A, it comes preloaded, free. This isn't a 360 via version, it is a permanent version that you have on your tablet. And it comes free. No if, ands, or buts, you literally just tap the app and you have everything you need for full Microsoft Office. So it's really great and seamless in that aspect. The second thing it has is sticking out right here, and that is an S Pen. This is more than a stylus, not only is it much more narrower than a stylus, but it has functionalities that can be used just to navigate everything on the screen, as well as do screen captures, write down quick memos, take parts of the screen, highlight things that can normally not be highlighted, and solve any math calculus stats equation using the S Pen. Now, because of that, it's really advanced and really great for students, uh, keeping in mind that this was what the ideal student would really want, a pen that can be used for writing notes or taking any kind of equation while still having full Microsoft Office on it. Now, for these purposes, this is what this tablet's great. It's for productivity. You still have the ability to have split screen because it is a Samsung tablet, so you can have something like S Note at the same time while you're watching a YouTube video, or be on Instagram the same time you're reading an email. All these things are possible with the split screen, as well as on the Gas Tab A, you can have multiple users. So you can have multiple users sign into the tablet and each one has everything separated from the other person. Something that hopefully the iPad will someday have, but not today. So, for this purpose, we really have a difference in here in terms of productivity versus entertainment. Now, the last difference will come from price point. So, for the Galaxy Tab A with S Pen, you're looking at a 349 price point. If you don't feel you need the pen, it would come in at $299. Whereas the iPad Air 1 comes in at $399. Of course, the iPad Air 2 would come in at $499. But again, that's why I think this would, is a better comparison. So $50 less, you get full Microsoft Office. That's $140 value for a permanent installation built in on there. Whereas on the iPad, you would have to pay a monthly fee or annual fee but it's never yours. You never have the full version permanently on there. And that's the benefit of this tablet. So if you're looking for a productive tablet, the Galaxy Tab A seems the better one in line for this comparison, whereas the iPad is definitely the best for entertainment, watching movies, and just playing lots of games. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Which one is more important to you? This has been R-I-C-K-Y, the Android guy.